Oh, I know that 60's old. I know that 60's old because I can't remember shit. <laughs> My day goes like this. I wake up and I think, you know, I, I, I did something really, really important yesterday and it absolutely had to be finished this morning because these people desperately fucking need to have it, whoever the fuck they are. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it was I was doing yesterday fucking morning, son of a bitch. God damn it, what was I doing yesterday? Fucking A, you've got to be kidding me. I go to sleep and I wake up and it's gone. Now I'm wandering around my apartment looking for clues like Sherlock Holmes. I have to have left a note, a picture, maybe there's a message on the phone. I can remember precisely what my Little League uniform looked like when I was 12 years old. And now I can't remember what happened 12 hours ago? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Just relax, Lewis. Lay down. And so I do. Yeah, if I just relax, I'm sure I'll think of it. <laughs> Two hours later, I get up from my nap and it's dinner time. <laughs> Let's eat. Nobody called. How important could it be? Fuck them. <laughs> the weirdest thing is if I'm with a group of my friends who are my age. If you listen to us talk, it's like verbal charades. <laughs> I saw that movie. I saw that movie, you know, the movie you told me to see, the one you told me to see, I saw that movie. You know the movie, the one you told me to see. I saw the movie, the one you told me to see, you told me to see the fucking movie. The one with the guy. You know the guy. The guy, we like the guy, then we didn't like the guy, then we liked him, then we don't like him. You know, the guy who goes out with the girl. You know the girl, son of a bitch. Remember there was a... No, no, not a moose, a bunny, you fuck. That conversation can go on for days. <laughs> to others, it sounds like, holy shit. These people don't know what we're talking about. We know exactly what we're talking about. We just can't remember any names anymore. <laughs> the saddest thing is when we're going, does it begin with an A? Does it begin with a B? Try a C. <laughs> My generation can't deal with getting old. The, the only thing that my generation right now is leaving behind, because my generation has done fucking nothing, what, what we leave behind, our message for the ages, is 60 isn't old, 60's the new 40. No, it's not, asshole. 60 is 60, and 40 is 40. That's why they're different fucking numbers! <laughs> I've never liked birthdays. I certainly didn't want to celebrate my 60th, but I've never liked birthdays. I don't get it. The celebration of mortality? What the fuck is that about? Woohoo! Another year closer to the grave! Birthdays make sense up to the age 21. 22, it's all downhill, fuckers. Take a good look, kids. This is the end of the line. <laughs> when you're eight, there's nothing better. A great birthday when you're eight, you get a wagon, a red wagon, and you can put shit in the wagon and pull it around. God damn it, let's go get some more shit. 16, you get your driver's license. 21, finally, 
Finally, you don't have to hand the money to somebody else to get your liquor, and you never know if you're gonna see the fucker again. <laughs> I know that most people don't like birthdays, because nobody likes singing happy birthday. Nobody commits to it, except some of my friends who are in the theater. And then those fuckers harmonize. Oh, that's, that's creepy and fruity at the same time. But the rest of us, I don't even care if, you, if there's an eight-year-old there. You don't even fucking, it's the same sound every time. <laughs> What's his fucking name? I don't remember the kid's name. So when I turned 60, I decided that what I would do is perform in Las Vegas, and that would be fun, and that would mark my birthday. We'd have some drinks, that's it. We'd fucking get over it. And so I perform and I finish up and I turn to go. And there, there standing off stage is Ben Brewer, my tour manager, and John Bowman. And they've got a big giant cake with 60 candles on it. <laughs> Not little candles, big fuck candles. So that the whole cake is like a torch. <laughs> I expected him to run by me and go into the village and look for Frankenstein. Now I gotta blow these candles out in front of about 1,500 people. I have to do an emphysema test. That's the other great thing about turning 60. You pee like a four-year-old. I've still got Winky in my thinky. Why'd you pee on the cake, Lewis? Because it's not fucking chocolate. Did you make a wish? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. A wish for a pony. <laughs> Maybe this year. A pony to pull my little red fucking wagon, asshole. I've had the, uh, the same wish pretty much for the past five years. Um, my wish is that I'll live forever. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that. And I don't understand what the fuck are you wishing for? A new appliance? Oh boy, I hope I get a Roomba this year. What fucking planet are you? It's a wish! Fucking go big! I've had audience members actually shout out, why would you want to live forever? Because I don't want to fucking die! How simple is that? I have no interest in dying. I like it here. I get it. As fucked up as it can be, I get this. But out there, I don't, I don't know what's out there. It's unknown. This is known, that's unknown. I'm sticking with the known. <laughs> Many Christians would say that Lewis, if you had faith, you should know uh, that angels will come and they will take you to heaven. Well, I tell my Christian friends, until their photographs, uh, the legal system would say that's hearsay. 